Oh, travel. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> and it was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, family and friends and loved ones. We gather here today to celebrate the wedding of Kara and Jim. You have come here to share in this formal commitment they make to one another, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow Kara and Jim to start their married life together surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. So welcome to one and all, y'all who have traveled from near and far. Kara and Jim, thank you for your presence here today. And now ask for your blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support for their decision to be married. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do it through love and through patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive and learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things in life matter, and to let go of the rest. What this ceremony can do is to witness and affirm the choice you make to stand together as life mates and partners. Will you, Jim, take this woman to be your wedded wife? I do. Thank you. Will you, Kara, take this man to be your wedded husband? I do. Thank you. Now we have two people who are in love, but they don't live in isolation. Their love is a source of strength with which they may nourish not only each other, but also the world around them. And in turn, we, their community of friends and families, have a responsibility to this couple. By our steadfast care, respect, and love, we can support their marriage and the new family they're creating today. Will you, all who are present today surround Jim and Kara in love, offering them the joys of your friendship and supporting them in their marriage. If you do, say, we will. We will. Excellent answer. We've come to the point in our ceremony where you're going to say your vows to one another. But before you do that, I ask you to remember that love, which is rooted in faith and trust and acceptance, will be the foundation of your abiding and deepening relationship. No other ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than the ones you're about to make. If you are able to keep the vows you make today, not only because of religious or the laws of the state, but out of a de desire to love and be loved by another person fully, without limitation, then your life will have joy and your home will be established as a place in which people can find joy and peace and hope. Would you repeat these words after me? And would you come together and join your hands? I, Jim, take you, Kara. I, Jim, take you, Kara. To be my wife. To be my wife. My constant friend and partner. My constant friend and partner. And my love. And my love. I will work to create. I will work to create. A bond of honesty respect and trust. A bond of honesty, respect and trust. One that withstands one that withstands the tides of time and change. The tides of time and change. And grows along with us. And grows along with us. I vow to honor and respect you. I vow to honor and respect you. For all that you are. For all that you are. And will become. And will become. Taking pride in who we are. 
taking pride in who we are. Both separately and together. Both separately and together. I promise to challenge you. I promise to challenge you. And to accept challenges from you. And to accept challenges from you. Above all. Above all. I will give you my love. I will give you my love. Freely and unconditionally. Freely and unconditionally. I pledge this to you. I pledge this to you. From the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. For all the days of our lives. For all the days of our lives. Thank you. I care take you, Jim. I care take you, Jim. To be my husband. To be my husband. My constant friend and partner. My constant friend and partner. And my love. And my love. I will work to create. I will work to create. A bond of honesty, respect, and trust. A bond of honesty, respect, and trust. Good. One that withstands One of the, the tides of time and change, the tides of time and, change. And, grows and grows along with us. I vow to honor and respect you for all that you are and will become. Taking pride in who we are, Taking pride in who we are. Both, separately and together. both separately and together. I promise to challenge you and to accept challenges from you. Above all, I will give you my love free and unconditionally. Free and unconditionally. I pledge this to you from the bottom of my heart. For all the days of our lives. Thank you. <laughs> Jim, would you take Kara's ring? Rings. Rings. Oh, <laughs> rings, that's right. And place them on the fourth finger of her left hand. And repeat after me. I give you these rings. I give you these rings. As a daily reminder. As a daily reminder. Of my love for you. Of my love for you. And Kara, would you place the ring on the fourth finger of Jim's hand and repeat after me. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a daily reminder. Daily of my love for you. Thank you. By the power of your love and commitment and the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss one another. And, and that's some good kissing. You can turn and face your guests. It is with pleasure that I introduce for the very first time in human history, Mr. and Mrs. Jim Lewis. Let's see. <laughs>